Good evening, good evening. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Welcome. How is it going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? What? Everything okay? Everything fine? More or less. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Así se dice. So so. Not so good, not so bad, probably. You can say more or less, people understand, but probably for Americans it's not very common. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to our video conference number 11. Okay, I hope everybody is fine. I see just a few, a few participants, just one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. We can start writing on the chat. Okay, let's see how we start today on the chat. A nice message. A nice message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, tired. Shackling, tired. Sorry. Okay, let's see what else, what else, what else you have to say on the chat, please. All right. Just checking that looks tired. She says she's tired. Well, who else? What a list of reaction. You can share how you feel as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What day is today, by the way? What's the day today? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who knows, who remembers? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday. Remember anyone? September 21 20, or 21st. 21st. Yes, with the dates, we usually use the ordinal numbers. First, second, and third. Those are the three very big difference. And the rest is just the TH. You only say fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there says hello everyone. I'm a little tired, but I feel happy because it is the middle of the week. Yes. <laughs> It's Wednesday. Wednesday, after Wednesday, only two more days. Yes, that's good. That's great. And yeah, sure. Did you finish the midterm exam? Complete? A hundred percent? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. A <laughs> hundred percent? A good grade? A good score? Yes, I was checking the grades. Yes, it's great that you are doing the, the activities. Yes, the assignments, the tasks, the exams. Because that's the idea to give you practicing, right? To have you busy with the vocabulary that we're learning. Okay, so that is the idea, actually. Okay, awesome. 
Okay, we're still uh, expecting the other participants to join the session. We are still waiting. We're still giving some seconds, some minutes. All right. Hello, Isabel. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. How was your day at work? Um, <laughs> it's very hard. It was very hard. I believe. Yeah, I believe you. Okay. That's very, very common everywhere. Every job is really hard. It's really busy. It's really difficult. I know. But that's life. <laughs> that's what we have to do. <laughs> okay. Well, today I, I had a different schedule. I left an hour and a half before because I went to say trussing. <laughs> I have to renew my circulation card, so I got it. They almost closed because they close at four, imagine. They close at four. So I have to run, I have to go really quick. But fortunately, I was able to get it. It was possible, it was doable. So kind of different routine today. All right. Well, I don't see anybody else connecting, so let's have the attendance. First things first. Adriana is not here. Here. Oh, you're here. I'm Good sorry. Evening. Good evening. <laughs> I seen you. Good evening. <laughs> I was going to say, not here. <laughs> okay. Carlos. Daniel. Christy. Present. Daniel. Present. Oh, you are here too. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Great. Elsie? Not yet. Fernand? Not yet. Hazel? Hector? Present, teacher. Ileana? Irma? Present, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Isabel? Lucy. Present teacher. Hi, Marta. All right, apparently Marta is not here. So we did this. Okay, Mayra. Present. Hello, good evening. Samuel. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you? Fine, how about you? <laughs> Survive. Alive. Alive. It's still alive. <laughs> still alive. <laughs> All right, Wendy. Not yet. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, not here. Present. Oh, you're here. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for and oh nobody else wrote on the chat. What happened? With the courtesy. <laughs> they say hello at least, say good evening to make sure that you're able to communicate. Remember, um, communicating and writing in English is also very important. So this is a way of practicing. Okay, at least say I'm I'm really tired, I'm really hungry, I need some coffee. I don't know, say something. Something that comes to your mind, something that makes you think in English. That would be really nice, okay, to read your messages. Actually, um, Hector wrote a very long message. That's really cool. That means he's using punctuation, has capitalization on letters. He's spelling the words correctly. I hope nobody's using Google Translate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't, but just in case, okay? Because <laughs> some people just say, oh, what does, you say blah, 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 and then you just copy the translation that Google gives you. That's not the idea. The idea is to think in English, all right? Okay. So in the meantime, we're going to be waiting for your messages. Let's have a look what we have planned for today yeah definitely this is the conference number 11 the session number 11 we start officially the unit three 
and today is Wednesday, September the 21st. So there's a typo in here. Let me see. Hold on. Typo. Typo mistake. It's S-T. Because of first. Okay? First, second, and third. Those are the three different ones. Okay? So some reminders about the attendance and the time that you should be participating. Of course, the way we participate on the video conferences and the objective for the class. So participants will provide a specific information about human resources and staff organizations and their responsibilities within that area. Okay, today we're going to describe, we're going to mention, okay, we're going to mention what we know about human resources, okay? So that is the idea for today's class, all right? So I bet you have an idea, you are related, you know, or probably you work for that department. So that's what we're going to do, okay? And of course, we missed an activity from yesterday. So we have some reading. Let me just share a different document because I bet this one would be a lot easier for you to see, for you to read. So... Let me just get it right here. Yes, I remember that yesterday we were not able to finish reading because reading is important for vocalization, you know, for memorizing, if you want to call it like that, at least for having this new vocabulary and the right pronunciation in your hard disk okay so we're gonna read the following a schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event at 9 30 a.m what happened let's listen to christina um okay night night 30 a.m here I am. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Very good. So at 9 30 a.m., they open the back kitchen door so the kitchen staff can start working. Mm, to be a restaurant, that is a little bit late to start cooking, right? To start working at a kitchen. Probably they don't serve breakfast. Maybe they serve lunch and dinner until very late, late at night. Let's see, Carlos, at 9.40 a.m. Okay, um, 9.40 a.m. Walk around kitchen, check the temperatures in all coolers and freezers. That's nice, okay? So 9.40 a.m., walk around the kitchen and check the temperatures in all coolers and freezers. Hector, at 9.15. Night, at 15 p.m., create a special, wait, no. Yes. Special for yes. server and buzzer, buzzer? Buzzers. With buzzers with shorts, shorts. Sure. That needs to be to be done in their shift individually. Mm -hmm. Individually. Individually. Exactly. Nice. That's a good. That's a good practice. Okay. Let's see. Isabel, at ten. At ten a.m. Servers start to clock in. Okay. Servers start to clock in. Iliana, ten ten. The mic, Eliana, your mic. Well, it's 10, 10 a.m. Who own I, they live in sound system. Okay, turn on all the lights and sound systems. That's right. So, well, 10, 30. Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with the employees. And we talk about that their schedule chores for the day. All right, great. Let's see, Mayra, 10.15. It's 
the fixing again. Every one clock back in and start working again. Thank you. That's really awesome. All right. How about Herman at 10.55? Open the front door and turn on the open sign. Nice. Okay. Sign, sign, yes. Sign. Because it's the sign that says open. <laughs> Remember at the front door, every business they have open or closed sign, right? So everyone, yes, open the front door and turn on the open sign. Okay. Wait a second. Just having some issues around here. Okay, let's continue with Irma at 11. What happens at 11? 11 a.m. go to the kitchen and check temperatures of bread to eat food and get samples to, to stay. Mm -hmm. um, go to the kitchen, yes, and check the temper check temperatures of ready to eat food and get samples to taste. That's right. At 11, we can have Lucy, probably. 11 a.m. to, to 2 p.m. Exactly, from 11 to 2. Greet guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. All right, nice. Uh huh, Wendy, at 2. ¿Cuál sería, teacher? Me voy conectando. ¿A tú? ¿Tú bien? ¿Tú bien? Club, up, and go, home, assistant, manager, está in, in charge. Okay. Charge. Yes. ¿A tú? A club, go. Ok. Says <laughs> clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in charge. All right. Let's see who hasn't participated. Daniel, probably. Uh huh. At four. Four teacher. Yes. Clock in, break is over. Clock in, break is over. Okay, continue with the next one because yours was too short now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Four six p.m. Okay. Four or five. Four or five. Mm -hmm. Check food. The temperatures again, as well as cooler and freezing temps. Okay, at four or five, they check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezer temps. So that's temperature, all right. Adriana, for 10. How, teacher? For 10. For ten, make a schedule for some for second shift servers and bussers, kitchen ahead, cook handless his team. Okay, yes, make a schedule for second shift servers and bussers, and the kitchen head cook handles his team. Four thirty. Who hasn't read? Uh huh. Somebody who hasn't participated. Oh, well, let's go with uh, Christina again. <laughs> mm -hmm. For 4.30 p.m., second chief staff start to clock in. All right, nice. Let's see, Carlos again from 5 to 9. Mm. Green? Green guests talk to people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part time cash in the club from five to nine. That way I focus on more important things. All right. Let's see, Hector, 9 30. Night and period. We start to do sidewalk. I supervise everything gets done right. Okay, supervise. Supervise. All right. Okay. Yes. Supervise. Everything is well done. Isabel, at 10. Yes. Okay. Uh, 10 p.m. 
turn the open sign off and look the front door. Okay. All right. <laughs> you're, you're early. At 10, PM. <laughs> at 10 p.m., turn the open sign off and lock the door, the front door. Okay, Isabel, uh, I don't know if you were able to read because I couldn't hear you. At 10, 10? Uh, 10, 10 p.m., enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Right, enter the credit card tips into the CC processor. All right, this is a schedule of a restaurant manager so probably the manager is really busy and we sometimes think that the manager don't do anything <laughs> right? <laughs> okay so they have this long schedule they have to see that everything gets done the way it should be done right so then we have all these uh sentences all this task, all this activity, you have to write the, the, the time of, that these things are done. Of course, to do this, my suggestion is to read. As you have read right now, okay, if you are in pairs, for example, the first person reads the first activity, the other person reads the next one, and you are alternating, okay? One, next, one, next, and so on, until you finish reading, and then you complete the exercise, right? Okay, and if you are three, of course, take turns. Okay, the first person reads the first activity, the second person the second, the third the third, then the first person continues with the next one, okay? So the idea is to practice vocalizing, pronouncing, and if you consider your partner needs some help, some support, because he or she doesn't know how to pronounce a word, so you help and try to sound fluent, okay? Clear? Well done. All right, let's see. We're going to make a small group so that everybody can participate. Mm. Yes. Here we go. Read the paragraph. Yes. When you, when me, when you, when me, when you, when me, and then uh, answer the the quiz. I don't know. Okay. You can start if you want. Uh, the night and theory. Uh huh. You, uh, you and or me or I. You, you can you can start, no problem. Okay. Uh, nine and thirty and a half p.m. Open the back kitchen uh, doors so kitchen staff can start working. Okay. Can you listen? Ah, okay. The next one. 940. Uh -huh. Work around kitchen, check temperatures in all in all coolers and freezers. 9 and 50, 50 a.m. Create a schedule for servers and boosters with chores 
that need to be done and their shift individuality individuality uh, the, i think i think the pronouns is indiv individually 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 is individually. Ten okay 10 a.m servers i start to clock in uh, ten. Ten fifty. Everyone clock back and start working again. Ten fifty five. I am open the front door and door of the open stand. Eleven a.m. <clears throat> Go to the kitchen and temperatures of ready to eat food and get sample to test. Uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Cloud out and go home. Assistant manager, manager stay in chair. Manager stay in chair. In chair. Uh, 4 p.m. Clock in break is over. 4 5 p.m. Check food temperatures again as well as coolers and freezer stamps. For the PM, may schedule for second shift, server and booster. Register maybe rules on the food and help a server that gets behind. Perfect, perfect. Daniel? Two, two o'clock, club out and go home, assistant manager, stay in change. Stay in church. In church, see. Okay. Four o'clock, clocking, break is over. Four, uh, four, 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 five? Four, five p.m. Check, check food, food. Uh, la, la, la. Uh -huh. check food temperatures. Tem temper no sé cómo se dice la palabra temperatures 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 again as well as colors and freezer temps for 10 p.m. In the night and 5 p.m. Booster. I search in the translator and uh -huh. find Booster. You don't find the word Booster? No, I don't find. Okay, we can ask to our teacher. Hello, teacher. Hey. What hey. is the meaning? What is the meaning of Booster? Actually, it's, it's the same thing, buzzers, but it's a person who cleans the tables in a restaurant. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Buzzers. What? B buzzers? Yes. Buzzers. It's difficult. Buzzers. Right. Buzzers. 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 Mm -hmm. Buzzers. Buzzers. Uh, Chair. Okay. The person who cleans the person in a restaurant. Who clean? Yes, it's like the person who probably in some restaurants it's the same person, right? But in some restaurants and some cafeteria, it's not the, the waiter or the waitress that cleans, it's another person. Maybe uh -huh. we can say the the ordinance probably. <laughs> For a signer, mm -hmm. for 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 this uh, activity, mm -hmm. it, it can can be a waiter. Do buzzers? <laughs> I don't know if you understand me. 
in some in some uh, yes in some business the waiter or the waitress kind of rotate to clean right okay, okay. but in some special restaurant there's a special person just to clean just to take the dishes just to clean the table so that's the buster like in in some um fast food restaurants i think in like in fried chicken restaurants there's a person only cleaning that's the only job he or she does um mm -hmm. the one that is picking up the the, the dishes but she's not oh. serving food uh -huh. only with the carretoncito <laughs> <laughs> with the little carts <laughs> oh no Fermán se nos salió. all right no problem okay thank you teacher thank you teacher i, I get out so i get it no i don't know I got, I got it i got it i get it i got it i got it i got uh -huh. it mm -hmm. thank you so much no problem okay lucy and and, and now Four thirty p.m. Take a trip. A star, a star, a star to close in. So, seeing is open this side. Open this side. You must look at the traductor. Is a ten fifty five a.m. open the apertura, hay la apertura, and Ajá. turn on the open side. O sea, abren la, o la inicia. Ajá, es inicia. que sabes que me confunde, es que ese off no me confunde. Open side, off. pero entonces sí sería nueve treinta, verdad? Eh, Bien, no, la número. Oh. Ten. La número 6 sería... Ten sería. Ten no, para mí es ten. <risa> Tour de Open. Es lo que pasa uh -huh. que es la que coincide. Tour de Open. Bájelo un poquito, Mayra, por favor, para ver las 5. Porque no, ahorita no... Es no que lo que pasa es que recordar... La va. Ahí está la teacher. Hi teacher, we have a, 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 a loud a loud about the abuser. Uh, we don't know what does it mean, and we try to find, but no. The buzzer. I had buzzer. But is the is the person that cleans the table? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person yeah, that yeah, picks yeah. up the dishes, cleans the table, and says, "Oh, you this, could, this you table could is send, ready." You could see my screen. Yeah. Okay. El, el ayudante del ayudante. <laughs> no, but in so, in some restaurants, it's the same waiters. So look, it's a turn. They take turns, like they are with the carrito just cleaning. Okay. And sometimes okay. they are serving the, the, the tables, right? Service and buzzer. Buzzers. Como se dice bus, but in English, bus. Buzzers. Buzzers. <laughs> Literally. Buzzers. <laughs> right. And sure. Chores, like task, activities, office. Task. Mm -hmm. Okay. Faena no los tiraba la traducción. Ah, it's, it's because it's too, it's too sophisticated. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. <coughs> eh, que, ahí que, lo repito. Create a schedule for service and users with chores that need to be done in their shifts. Individually, individu individually, 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 exactly. Con je. Like je, uh -huh. like individually. individually. Okay. No, individually. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten o'clock. Ya estamos listas, niña, Julián. Yo me quedé en la 10.50. En la me falta todavía. Ah, ok. Sí, usted ya la hizo. Eh, tengo un par que me hace falta, pero 
Si Bye. gusta, terminar entonces. Yo la termino porque en, en la 1050 me he quedado. Uh, pero yo creo que podría poner otras horas si no es igual a, a estas mismas horas que usted elabora, porque por ejemplo yo es más temprano. Ajá, ¿por qué? No concuerda. Ajá. Pues sería Bye. con su horario real. Va, perfecto. Me avisa para, para después compartir. Lo ve. Ah, pero sí, lo veo. Tiempo. Ah, pues, así entendí yo de que esta, esta era la que teníamos que colocar aquí. Uy, espérame. Aquí. Entiendo yo que es a las 9.40. Así. Así es, teacher. Yes, just check the time. Uh -huh. ah, pues, What time sí, do they check the temperature at the kitchen? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, night. 940. 940. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next is turn on the light and so the uh, sound system. We 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 Temperatures. Walk around kitchen, check temperatures and in all cooler and freezer. Y Isabel, se fue. Sí, bueno. <laughs> Sigamos. Nine, nine, que se incorpore. 9.15 a.m. Create a schedule for service and do service shorts that need to be done in their ship individually. 10 a.m. Server start to clock in. 10, 10 a.m. Tour or only light and sound system. 10, 3, 3 a.m. Edmonton clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employers and we tell about what they schedule Short for today. 10, 10, 10, 15 a.m. Everyone, everyone clock back in and start working again. 10, 15 a.m. Open the front door and tour on the open side. 12 a.m. Go to, go to kitchen and check temper, temperatures are ready to eat food. At the example to state. Okay. Um, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. To, to 2 p.m. Great guests, room register, maybe room some food, and hell a server that guests be, begin. begin. 2 p.m. Clot out and go home, assistant manager. The style in shirt. 4 p.m. Clock in break is over. 4 5 p.m. Check food tem temperatures again as well as colors and freezer temp. 14 p.m. Make a schedule for second shirt. Serve some bruisers, kitchens, and cook hundreds. His team. Uh, 4.30 p.m. Second chief star start club in. 5 to 9 p.m. Greet guests. Talk to people. Everything's clear. Okay. In this case, I'm started. Start, uh, I am start? No, it's my turn to start. Okay. Yes. 9 30 a.m. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Daniel, on me. Um, boss, <laughs> okay. two. 
<laughs> uh, night for 40 a.m. Walk around kitchen. Check temperature. No. 9.30. Ah, no, no, no. Hey. Así 9.30 pero PM. Bien. Ah. Grit. Grit, pero no. In what? Uh, for example, uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. What teacher? What the meaning of greet? Saludar. Oh, saludar. Okay. And boosters are limpiadores. Exactly, the people that clean the tables. Okay. Pick up the dishes. Mm -hmm. Which one? Temps. Temps. Temperature. Es la, es la abreviación de temperature. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cashier. 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 Es el de la caja. El mm -hmm. cajero. Ah, el cajero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finish. Finish. <laughs> well, let's see. Everybody's back. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Here it is. Let's have the time. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and let me know if you completed the exercises. All right. So the first one says, check temperatures at the kitchen. What time does the manager check the temperatures at the kitchen? 9 and 40 a.m. 9.40. Okay, yes, walk around kitchen and check temperatures. Only in that time? Is there any other time in which he checks the temperature? When? Maybe 11 a.m. At 11 again, checks. Go to the kitchen and check temperatures already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because this is only check temperature of the kitchen, right? So, yeah. At 11, go to the kitchen and check temperatures of ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. All right. Any other time? Maybe 4 5 p.m. 405, check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezer stems. Exactly, it's like continuously checking the temperature because if one thing fails, then everything gets ruined. Imagine if the freezers or is the oven's temperature fail, then they stop working at a restaurant. 
Mm -hmm. So I think that's why the constant checking on temperature, it's necessary. All right, next, what time does he turn on the lights and sound system? Ten ten a.m. Exactly, ten ten a.m. Mm -hmm. So lights and sound go on, <laughs> okay? Maybe they got a relaxing music. I imagine this restaurant to be a fancy restaurant, okay? <laughs> 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 All right, with those, you know, Bossa Nova. exactly with those good rhythms and fancy place, definitely. <laughs> All right, okay, those good environment to have a proper meal, not the rushing potato that we eat in <laughs> lunch time. <laughs> Because we had a meeting and then because we have to work again. Ah, well, sometimes it's not that bad, actually. But sometimes it's really, really terrible. All right, the next one. <laughs> so what time does he make the schedule for the second shift? 4.10 p.m. 4.10, make the schedule for the second shift. Servers, ambassadors, kitchen, head cook, handles, his team. All right, that's right. What time does he open the back kitchen door? That was easy. 9.30. 9.30 a.m. Right. So open the back kitchen. So they have a secret door <laughs> to enter to the kitchen. The stuff and start working definitely without the customer realizing that they are there already, right? So it's, it's pretty... Um, interesting because i mean this restaurant let's say eh, it's acceptable because it's 9 30 but if the restaurants serve breakfast you know what time they start cooking they start working probably at 3 a.m or at 4 a.m if they start serving breakfast at 6 right because some some people i mean they do go to restaurants to look for food really early but the only thing is that they stay late serving meals at night so that's why probably they don't serve breakfast all right next one what time does he do inside work Nine thirty. Nine thirty. So they start yeah. working. <laughs> and start supervise everything gets done right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, probably before they open the restaurant, before they open sign, they do inside work, right? Mm -hmm. And right after they have put the close sign, right? Okay. Ten. Right. Ten ten. And what time do they turn on the open sign? 10.55. 10.55, right. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. It's practically close to 11 and now we're before 12, so not bad actually. All right, done. No questions, pronunciation, meaning, definitions. Sorry, done? Everything's done? Great. Oh my goodness. We completed this exercise yesterday, didn't we? We say it, right? So for the ones that did not do it, try to do it. Yeah? Third person works. works, right. Works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Janet and Pete? Clean. Normal, right? Clean, without S, because it's Jane and Pete. Mark? Done. Not that, doesn't. Exactly, doesn't. Taken, take. Doesn't take. I think the space is not enough, but I'm gonna put it right, right, right on top, okay? So Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesdays. 
a restaurant open mm -hmm. opens Okay. From 9 to 10 p.m. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's long. Our boss. <laughs> spends. Spend. Spends. Spends. Much time in the restaurant. We. We don't. don't. Not. We, okay, don't. we do not. We don't. Close. Close. On Sundays. I think because of the space, I'm going to put it like this. Okay, we don't close on Sundays. And they? Expect. Expect to have more clients this week. To have more clients this week. Yes. All right. No doubts, no questions? Easy peasy? Teacher? Yes. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, cuando hablamos de un intervalo de tiempo, Creo que dice from, no from ocupamos to. time. Ah, ok. Ocupamos desde from. tal hora a tal hora. Ah, ok. O desde tal día a tal día. From Mondays to Fridays. From 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. From, yes. <laughs> from January to June. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Usually do that. You. All right. Anything else? No? No more? Good. And we also have this other exercise. You completed the sentences? Si las completaron? Of course, teacher, we are very responsible. Ah, I see. Okay. Aquí igual, tenían que poner su creativity para poner el subject, ¿no? Veamos, let's say a name. Maria. Uh -huh. Always pick up the uh -huh. table. Always picks up. Aquí vamos a poner la S uh -huh. antes de la preposition, ok? Always picks up tables. No es que van a andar dando vueltas a las mesas, pero no que andar recogiendo los platos, <laughs> los manteles y esas cosas, y los cubiertos, ok? So she cleans the table, so that's what it means. She always picks up tables. Ok. Let's say we. Hmm? We? Seldom. Seldom. Change menu. Change menu. Okay. Rarely. We rarely change menu, right? <laughs> I hate my dog when she does it. Quiet. All right. Next one. Mm, let's say our restaurant. Mm -hmm. A restaurant. Rarely. Hire. Rarely. Hires new employees. Our restaurant, let's hold on. Our restaurant readily hires new employees. Peter, what's the meaning of hires? Contratar. Okay. Yes. You get hired in a company, and then when you leave, really, you quit, you resign, or some employees might get fired. Hire, fired. That's the opposite. Okay. Well, let's say they. Sometimes. Sometimes. Early. Close early. All right. They sometimes close early. Uh huh. Another subject. Okay. My company. Hardly <laughs> uh -huh. ever. Hardly ever. Because of the other frequency, remember? Away. Hardly ever gives away. Sorry. Gives away 
Sorry. Promotional items. So my company hardly ever gives away promotional items. All right. And this business. <laughs> Never close. Never closes on Mondays. Yes, that could be a way. Okay, the only uh, challenge probably for you was to be creative with the subject of the sentence and to be careful with the order of the adverb frequency and with the third person okay of the verb yes that was the only challenge you may take a, a, a screenshot if you want so that you can have it as a reference yes we can even get a screenshot let's yeah. yes and the number three the subject first Wait a minute. I did something that I shouldn't have done. Okay. The number three, the subject. A restaurant? Like, mm. if I have a restaurant, I would say our restaurant, nuestro restaurante. Mm -hmm. Rattley hires new employees. That could be. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Atrás puede ser. Y esta dos de aquí. Y esta dos de aquí. No problems? No? Sure? No problem. No problem. Okay, perfect. All right, second attendance. Get ready. <laughs> to say present. All right, Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Christy. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Elsie? What is your career, Elsie? Oh my God, her man. Present teacher. Hazel. Hazel, Hazel? No. Hector. Present teacher. Ileana. Irma. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Present. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Isabel. Present. Lucy. Present. Marta. Mayra. Present. Samuel. Present. Wendy. Jacqueline. Present. Hi. Nice. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's tired? <laughs> Who's hungry? Oh, no, me. <laughs> I had a huge dinner. Who's sleepy? No. <laughs> put your hands up. Put your hands up. Everybody's putting their hands up. All right. Who wants to rest tomorrow? <laughs> Todos levanten la mano. Todos. <laughs> Who has money? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> Who wants more vacation? <laughs> No, oh, yeah, we all want to rest, okay? No, it's okay. We have worked just three days this week, so two more days is fine. All right, let's go, let's continue. Cuando encuentren la parte. Okay. 
<laughs> as soon as I find my PowerPoint, I found it. It's here. All right, vocabulary review. We're going to look at vocabulary and provide definitions of examples compare and compare the ideas with the rest of the class. And let's start. All right. What do you know about human resources? Vamos a compartir con nuestros partners qué conocemos de human resources. ¿Qué hace ese departamento tan importante in the company? Okay. <laughs> in English. <laughs> no, in English, no, you can read my lips. <laughs> I can get in I can get in trouble. <laughs> okay. So what do you know about human resources department in your company? Make a list. All right. I know. It is important because otherwise we probably wouldn't be hired to work at a company, right? So maybe we are not very pleased, but let's say what are there? responsibilities that probably they don't do but i mean let's say what are the activities that they are supposed to do or maybe we do have like good experiences we have worked in that in a similar department or in a in the same department as well okay so what do you know about human resources somebody knows make a list i have una, una lista de, de actividades que creen que, que human resources está a cargo o que debería estar a cargo de what do you think they should do? There are many activities that they are supposed to do. Okay, make a list. Don't don't share with anybody yet. No la comparta con nadie. Ustedes digan. Okay, human resources is in charge of these, 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 and these, and these. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to participate? They shall uh, the the contabil contability, like accounting? Yes. Okay. For me. Mm -hmm. They are in charge of the accounting department as well. Okay. What else? Hire staff. Okay, they are in charge of hiring and firing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> or or only hiring. <laughs> or both. Both. Mm -hmm. Right. Like if they have to get somebody fired, they are in charge of giving the person the like the last check or you know. Make at least uh, abilities position. Mm -hmm. Okay, making a list or keeping track of the available positions in the company, right? Mm -hmm. What else? The relationships with the employees. Exactly, keeping a good relationship between the employees or the departments of the company, right? True. Promoting the good environment in the company. Mm -hmm. What else? What else are they supposed to be in charge of? The payment rules. Exactly. Okay. They are in charge of, yes, keeping track of the payrolls, okay, or supervising it at least, right? Probably the accountants or the economists of the company <laughs> keep track or create the, the payrolls as well, mm -hmm. or to supervise or to give the benefits of the employees as well. Right, when somebody gets sick, when somebody has a medical leave, you have to report it to the human resources. Okay, what else? 
evaluate uh, disability employees. Okay. Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. And Christy was going to say something. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> evaluate paid scale. Okay. So evaluate the, the payments, the salary scale, right? So Ferman was talking about uh, supervising or, or taking care of the um, of the disabilities in, in the in the employees, right? Like when somebody has an accident or somebody yeah needs some sort of support. Okay. Find and offer capacitation. Exactly. Look for find and offer trainings, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, to check the well-being of the employees, okay? To train the employees, all right? Okay. Yeah, I think one of the, of the main roles, yeah, definitely is hiring the staff, right? Because while hiring the staff, they have to do all the selection process, the tests, the interviews, they have to train, train the new employees to do the right job or to assign a mentor for the new employees so that the new employees get really acquainted with the activities or the task that he or she is going to perform in the company, right? So great. That was pretty awesome. Okay. We are charged. Uh, Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are in charge of the. Yeah, actually, it's it's pretty weird, but why human resources, right? <laughs> yeah, but they are in charge of the benefits. Yeah, part of the benefits in a company is this type of celebrations or the Christmas bonus, right? Okay, so that the employees feel satisfied with the but the things that they get at the company, okay? So here are some of the vocabulary we're gonna study through this lesson. Recruitment, what I was mentioning is when they get potential employees, right? So they interview them, they evaluate them, they kind of follow a process so that they can have the right employee for the right position in the company, okay? Hold on. Just a second, give me a second. I'm sorry. I think I got something on my eye. I don't know what it was. All right. So, I suppose, I, yeah, I was mentioning that recruitment process, which is really important in human resources, is in charge, right? Okay. And of course, this is something that we're going to study through this lesson. All right. Here we have a conversation. We usually introduce, I mean, the manual usually introduces the lesson with a conversation so that you can use the vocabulary in context, right? So provide a specific information about human resources and staff organization to terms practicing the model conversation. I'm gonna read it once so that you can have an idea. Probably there are some unknown words that you need to be model how to pronounce them. Excuse me, I'm looking for Ms. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator. 
I see again as yesterday. I see. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of the recruiters. I think this part you're going to have a, a bit challenge pronouncing some of these words, right? I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. So probably they, uh, the person is looking for uh, Mr. Shang in this, in this case, is looking for some employees from the human resources department who are probably having lunch because if he returns at one, okay? So it's not the time to be looking for him, right? Okay, once again, excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. All right. Let's see. I'm going to draw probably. Yes. Wait a second. I'm gonna draw a line basically. The words that I find here basically all this basically he provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters okay <laughs> this sounds like a tongue twister so maybe it's gonna be a bit hard for you okay basically try to repeat están repitiendo ahí aunque sea con el micrófono apagado porque si todos encendemos el micrófono es gonna be a mess so basically 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 she provides recruiting basically she can provide recruiting recruiting administrative support recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters for the team of the recruiters Recruiters. For the team of recruiters. For the team of recruiters. Right. Okay. So, once again, I'm going to be um, Mr. Shan, and let's ask Mayra to be Dorian. Are you ready, Mayra? Yes. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? And I, I, Dorian. Yes. Sir, she is the recruitment recru, <laughs> or recruitment. 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 <laughs> Recruit. Haga con la T al centro de la palabra. Recruitment. Recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruit administrative support for the team on recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at, at one o'clock. All right, great. Now let's have Hector is Mr. Chen and Ileana, Dorian. Ready? Ready. Okay, one, two, three, go. Excuse me, I'm looking for a Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who, is, who she is? Liliana. Dorian, ¿verdad? Yes. 
sure she the requirement coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibility? <laughs> Basically, they provide they recruit. I know say recruiting, recruiting administrative support, right? Or the team of recruiters. <laughs> I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent manager consultant. Where can I reach him? Where can he, I? He read written at one o'clock. He returns at one o'clock. All right. Difficult words. Escríbanlas en el chat. Escriban cuáles palabras ustedes consideran que están difíciles. What words you consider are a bit difficult to pronounce. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to read the messages on the chat. Challenging. Challenge. Teacher. Yes. No nos quita la presentación. <laughs> Ah, quiero ver si recuerdan cómo escribir. <laughs> In the middle. Just mire que, mire que el, el, ese, ese manual de Insafora está adivinanza al traje porque la última que colocó que respondió esa ni por cerca. <laughs> Hubiéramos llegado. <laughs> really? Si inventó usted una palabra ahí para que. <laughs> Me está acusando Fernán. Just kidding. Es broma, teacher. Just kidding. Recruit, recruit. Es que tienen que hacer así como, no sé si alguna vez les pasó que la gente decía, ya se te va a trabar la lengua o ya se te va a enredar la lengua cuando vas a aprender inglés. Entonces tienen que hacer como ese sonido que hacen los americanos. Like, es como enrollar un poquito la lengua hacia, hacia atrás, como tratar de tocar el paladar. El palate y hacer ese sound, like recruit, recruitment, recruiting, rec recruiters. Yes. Recruitment. <laughs> That's oh, funny. Chicle para que salga. <laughs> Good strategy. <laughs> Algunos teachers ponían a, a mis students uh, con un lápiz, like this, and I don't have a pencil here. <laughs> Sorry, and they and they make them pronounce. But this is easy. It's just a few words. Okay, yes, recruitment. I recruiters, recruitment. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que prácticamente eso, los reclutadores son los más difíciles. But yeah, management consultants. It's easy. He's the talent management consultant. I have a question. Management. 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 Manager. Is a management. Manager. Management. Management. Huh? Está a cargo de el manejo. <laughs> but in this case, it's, how do you say manager in Spanish? There's not a word for manager in Spanish. Gerente. Gerente. Uh -huh. Del departamento de gerencia. Right. Could be. Ok, siempre he tenido esta doubt. Cuando yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla y comparto el chat, ¿se ve en la, en la pantalla o no se ve? No, no se ve, solo no la sé. presentación. Ah, exactly. La vista cuando uno está acá y ustedes están ahí es different. And it also depends on the, el setting que ustedes también tengan en Zoom. But thank you. Thank you so much. All right, no more difficult words, just recruiting and recruiters and recruitment. Okay, let's see. Let me draw, 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 draw. Aquí tenemos la palabra recruitment. Así 
tenemos la palabra recruiting. Y aquí tenemos la palabra recruiters. Aunque son muy parecidas y vienen de la misma roots, de la misma raíz, del mismo origen, no significan las, lo mismo las tres palabras, ¿verdad? Right? So, she is, in, okay, she is the recruitment coordinator. Yes, ella es la coordinadora de reclutamiento. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support. Básicamente lo que ella es provee apoyo de reclutamiento administrativo al, de, al equipo de reclutadores, right? So if you see, they are from the same origin, but they don't mean the same thing. Recruitment, recruiting, and recruiters, right? Bye. El challenge. Ahora para que ustedes practiquen. Obviously, I guess there's enough to practice. <laughs> My suggestion. Primero practiquen tal cual está. Después traten de decir qué entienden de la conversation. Por ejemplo, cuando ya se han, así como está, practicado un par de veces, digan, ok, this conversation is about... Mr. Shan, who is visiting a company, and he is looking for Mrs. Chavez. He wants to know what she does in the company. And then Dorian explains that she is the recruitment coordinator. Es como tratar de decir que entendí de la conversación. Yo sé que es un poco retor. No lo van a hacer tal vez perfect, but no problem. Esa no es la intención. La intención es que lo intenten. Okay? Yes? Good. Van a trabajar con otros partners. Again. Yes, here we go.
Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Teacher, ya aprovechando que está usted por aquí. Hello. The, the basically, se dice oh, basically. 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 Recruiting. Recruiter. Recruiter, recruiter y recruitment, ¿verdad? Right. Va. Ok, me está costando esa palabrita. I know. Pero, pero sí es cierto, ponete la pela aquí en la boca, el lápiz en la boca y se te sale bien porque la, 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 la por lengua la... no sale, sino que te queda ahí. <risa> Hasta atrás. <risa> ok, ya, ya voy a babiar por ahí un, un lápiz. Mm -hmm at one o'clock okay eh. okay okay hello quien empezó Hola, ahí está está irme que practica con usted y después como ya practicamos todo y es que ¿no? andaba perdida me había sacado el okay. ah ok me reconozco ah. Hola Irma. Aquí me sacó el, el internet. Ah, sí, está complicado. <risa> ok. Yo seguía, ¿verdad? I understand and does Mr. Salgado were here. What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay. Si quiere, no. ahora yo con Iliana. Ok. Si quiere, empieza usted, Iliana, para que no repita el mismo. Ok. Excuse me, I, I look looking for Miss Chávez. Can you tell me how she is? Sure, she is recruitment coordinator. I see and call you me about her responsibility. Basically, to provide recruiting administrative support for, team, for the team of recruiters. I use tender and does miss. Mr. Salgado were here. Does do he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at uh, one o'clock. Okay. Okay. Ahora alguien que sea Mr. Chang y va a ser Dorian. Dorian. Bueno, yo voy a ser Mr. Chang. Ok. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And um, could you to talk with them? Because he is interesting to work in this place, work. probably. Uh, yes, or has a human resource consultant. Could be true. Because she, he answered about the responsibilities. Yeah, and, and, and you, you are right, because he knows the people who ask him. He know the names. Yes.
Give me a second. Y Mr. Salgado okay. trabaja aquí. ¿Qué hace él? Y es Mateo sí. Salgado. Y es, él es este, un consultor de... Él es un talento que tiene como un, un, uh -huh. un administrativo, un consultor administrativo, lo sí. Uh -huh. eh, lo puedo alcanzar. Él regresa a la UNED al punto. Entonces, uh -huh. la primera que dice, I am looking for, entiendo que estoy buscando. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, se lo entiende. Irma. Por ahí. Sí. Ah, sí, este, más o menos entiende el diálogo. Sí, sí, cabal. Y dice también abajo que quién es la señora Chávez. En, la, en el Firework. Mr. Chang. Who is Mr. Chávez? ¿Qué hace? Ah, sí, que, que dice, I under, understand. ¿Pero qué es ella? Ella es, arriba dice, ella es este, la coordinadora de, de reclutar, de reclutamiento, donde le dice... Ok, entonces sería, basically, be, basically she provides, provides ah, pero, recruiting administrative support, o sea, provee reclutamiento, a mí, o como es support. Aclaremos las tres cosas, recruiting, ¿qué es? Recruitment. Eh, recruiting, dijo ella que era como recluta. Ella recluta. Ajá. Y recluta. Ella provee recluta. Pero no, no lo busco, pero no ahorita, no te voy a engañar. Pues, pues sí. Recruiting. Y después voy a decir, Fermán me dijo. Cabal. <risa> sí, reclutamiento. Recruiting. Reclutamiento. Ah, recluiden reclutamiento. Ajá. Y recluted, reclutador. <risa> Reclu recruiter. Espérame. Eh, Vamos a ver. Donde dice, she's recruitment, recruitment, coordinator, es coordinadora de reclutamiento, entiendo yo. Ajá, entonces Ajá. reclutamiento. Ella provee, o ella provee soporte administrativo. Eh, Pero a lo mismo llegamos, recluta, reclutamiento. Chica teacher, ahí está, ya la vi. O sea, que no te ya la, la vi. viste. <risa> no, no, la, no he estado, solo estamos nosotros tres. No sé, sí, y la miro. Ay. ¿Ves? Está escondida la ticha. <risa> no, por eso les decía, depende del ser y que tengan en Zoom. Algunas veces pueden ver a, a solamente a las personas que tienen cámara. Ah. Eso creo que le pasa a Mike. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. ah, pues... ah, es cierto. <risa> Recruitment. Recruit la parte donde estamos es basically. Basically. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support. Básicamente, ella provee ayuda al departamento de reclutamiento, ayuda administrativa. Al, uh, re recruiting es reclutamiento. Uh -huh. Recruitment. <risa> reclutamiento también. Sí, lo que pasa es que uno es como... como en sí, el, el reclutamiento de la palabra, o sea, de la, ya de la acción. Y la otra está haciendo la función de un adjetivo, está como nada más modificando. La primera es sí. recruitment, reclutamiento. Reclutamiento. O okay. sea, ya, reclutar, el hecho de reclutar. Y la otra es al departamento de administrativo de reclutamiento. ¿Y recruiter? Recruiter son las personas que reclutan. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Del equipo de reclutados, por ejemplo, recruiter. Ajá. Ajá, el equipo que recruta. Recruits. Okay. Los, y todavía les falta el verbo ahí. Los reclutados sería. 
No, los que reclutan. Porque ajá, ah. los reclutados en todo caso serían los new employees. Ah, ok, sí, uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno. Ah, pues Vamos a ir entendiendo poco a poco. Está so, bien. Uh, ok. I understand. Uh, does Mr. Salgado work here? O sea, yo entiendo que el asentido dijo, ok, entiendo. Y le pregunto que si el señor Salgado trabaja ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, what ¿Qué does hace? he do? O ¿Qué hace él, verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es? Eso va a ser difícil adivinar, Mateo Salgado. ¿Qué significa? <risa> no, <risa> no, no. <risa> Management Consult. Ah, o sea, él es como el gerente... Consultor. Consultor. De. de Where can I reach? Rich. ¿Qué es Rich? ¿A dónde está viendo Rich? Alcanzar. Ah. Chang, where can I reach him? Eh. Regresar, quizá. No, puedo ponerme en contacto con él. Es? Sí. Where can, sí. Where can, uh -huh. ¿Puedo ponerme en contacto con él? Rich es contacto. Rich. Como, ¿Dónde lo puedo localizar en este caso? ¿Dónde lo puedo sí, el, el verbo es localizar. No necesariamente es como dónde puedo alcanzar a encontrarlo. O sea, dónde puedo lograr eh, hablar con él, por decir algo. Que Rich puede tener muchos significados, pero en este caso es como dónde lo puedo encontrar. ¿Dónde puedo lograr verlo? Tipo, tipo cuando uno dice este, que se logra encontrar a alguien, lo alcanzó. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Alcanzó. Uh -huh. Porque igual Rich tiene muchísimos significados. Entonces, I reached my goals. Yo alcancé mis metas. En este caso, sí es como literalmente alcanzar. Pero en este caso, si ustedes dicen, ¿dónde lo puedo alcanzar? Ni que lo fuera a seguir, ¿verdad? Pero es como, ¿dónde lo puedo encontrar? ¿Dónde puedo lograr en, eh, comunicarme con él? Sí. Okay. Él regresa a la una. En a punto. la una del tarde, uh -huh. exacto. Ok. Bueno, ya entendimos. A practicar. Bueno, no me queda muy claro lo de recruiting. Pero... Recruitment, recruiters okay. y recruiting. Recruitment, recruiting, recruiter. All right. Hold on. All right, here we go. Mr. Shan is looking for. Uh -huh. Mr. Shen is looking for Mrs. Chavez. Mrs. Chavez. He wants to know what she did her yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to know who she is, right? Uh huh. And the answer from the front desk or the eh, probably this person works in the what could be the reception area mm -hmm. so he says cheese what does miss chavez do she is a recruitment coordinator recruitment coordinator <laughs> Coordinator, terminator. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, Miss Chance wants to know what her responsibilities are. And what is the answer from the receptionist? That she is basically. She is providing recruiting administrative support. She basically provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. Creo que esa es la parte que más nos ha dado dolor de cabeza. Que no entiendo, pinche. 
Vaya. Teacher, Ella, yes. La palabra administrate, yo digo tip, pero lo pongo en el traductor y me tengo una D. Administrative. 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 Yes. Ok. Espérame, güey, que aquí hay un perro que se lo está. All right. Aquí tenemos que ella está a cargo, obviamente, si ella es la coordinator, ella está a cargo de un equipo, obviamente, de trabajo, ¿verdad? She's in charge of this team, ¿ok? So, this team is the team of recruiters, o sea, las personas que hacen los reclutamientos, ¿right? So, they are the recruiters. ¿Y qué es lo que ella provee a estas personas? Soporte administrativo, right? De reclutamiento. So, Mr. Chan is looking for this. Miss Chavez. Probably he's interested in that position as well. <laughs> he wants to know. Mm -hmm. He says, I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? So he also wants to know what Mr. Salgado does. And the answer is yes, Mateo Salgado. He is. the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? Well, he returns at 1 p.m. All right, let's not get stuck on this. Who is Miss Chavez? That was easy. She is? Recruitment coordinator. She's the recruitment coordinator. What do you think Mr. Chan does? That was the answer. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you think Mr. Shen does? I told you, uh, <laughs> Mr. Chang. Yes. Maybe looking for Miss Chavez because Miss Chavez is the human coordinator. Okay. But she provides during administrative support. Mm -hmm. So maybe he is. A more specific uh, job he does? Could be. Have you checked this vocabulary? Not yet. Uh huh. Okay, so maybe we're going to discover here. Okay. So read the information about human resources personnel. Because when we listen to human resources, probably we don't have a very clear idea of the different positions in the same department, the human resources department. So here we have four different positions, right? We have recruitment coordinator, we have benefit specialist, talents management consultant, and human resources generalist. So recruitment coordinator, which is Ms. Chavez, bachelor's degree, organizes schedules of candidate interviews, open and post requisitions, coordinates internal, uh, internal and internet job postings, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruitment team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays and works part-time. The benefit is specialist, bachelor's degree, bachelor's degree is obviamente, requisito, ¿verdad? Para cualquiera de estas posiciones, porque es una, un, 
un grado universitario, o sea, es una licenciatura para el caso para nosotros, right? For the University of El Salvador. Develops and maintain co competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation plans. Create cost-effective benefits programs to provide motivations, incentives, and rewards for effective performance. Works on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Then we have the talents management consultant. Bachelor's degree, responsible for leadership and development career development. Okay, assesses performance, learning and development, works on Saturday, full-time job, one year of experience. And then we have the human resource generalist, bachelor's degree, maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources, responds to inquire regarding policies, procedures and programs, works on Saturday, part-time job, five, year, five years of experience in similar positions. So, there is a lot of vocabulary, I know, but probably we're going to be trying to see what the meaning of each of them is. Okay, the first thing we got to keep in mind is that we have to discover what is the job of Mr. Shan, yes? What does he do? What do you think he does, okay? Of course, we already know that Ms. Chavez is the recruitment coordinator, which is the first profile, right? So she has a bachelor degree. Ya dijimos que era un grado universitario, una licenciatura, ¿verdad? Organizes the schedules of candidate interviews, like plan the schedules for the candidates, future employees interviews, opens and posts requisitions, like there is a new position, so she posted on, on the internet or she offers this um, positions, right? Coordinates internal and internet job postings. Okay, coordinates like if they are posting the or promoting the positions internal or in the internet, like when they post on the social media or they are looking for a new candidates of different uh, job positions has a degree in management, so she knows how to manage personnel. She works with and supports the recruiting team, so she works with everybody involved in the recruiting process. She has five years of experience, she works on weekdays, and she works part-time, probably could be part-time or the whole day, right? Okay, what about the benefit specialist? What sort of uh, employee do you think is the benefits, especially? Remember that we were saying that we were mentioning that in the human resources, they coordinate the benefits of the employees, right? That you get your vacations paid, get your payrolls, uh, get um, the medical leave pay when you have an accident or when you get sick that you have the bonus for Christmas at the end. So those are some of the benefits, okay? So the specialist is in charge of. So definitely this person has to have a bachelor degree, develops and maintain competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans, create cost-effective benefits programs to motivate, I'm sorry, to provide motivations, incentives and reward for effective performance. Work some weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience. All right. In Spanish, ¿qué es lo que entienden que hace un special, un benefit specialist? O sea, ¿cuál es el rol de esta persona en el área de human resources? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Person uh, has bachelor degree. Mm -hmm. um, person is developed. Means desarrollar. Ah, es competitivo. Una actitud proactiva. Y se des desarrolla y mantiene planes de compensación, que sean progresivos, proactivos y competitivos. 
Eso es, eso es lo que les decía en el caso de, de, de los beneficios de ley, por ejemplo. Que si al, no sé, al renunciar o al, al, al finalizar el año, sus beneficios se, se cumplan, ¿verdad? En el caso de de los aguinaldos, de todos esos payments que, que por ley se deben dar. Entonces, que no... En, en el caso de que sean las compensaciones uh, competitivas, también va a depender mucho de la, del área o de la, del grado de, de capacitación o de, del grado de, de educativo que tenga la persona. Si está como muy... Qualify, o sea, que tiene todas las qualifies y los skills también que sea, pues que compense, ¿verdad? No, no va a ofrecer quizás el mismo salary a alguien que, que no tenga quizás un grado tan alto de, de estudio o de, qué sé yo, de capacitación o de experiencia, ¿right? Obviamente va a depender mucho de los, de los puestos de trabajo. Entonces, a eso se refiere, de desarrollar y mantener estos planes. Obviamente, respetar los beneficios de ley. Que eso tiene mucho que ver para, para que las, las companies tampoco se, se, se metan en, en dificultades o en problemas con, con los governments, like laws, right? ¿Ok? Y luego, lo de create cost-effective benefits programs to provide motivation. Es que esto también creo que depende mucho. No sé qué tanto todas las compañías tengan esto como de ley, que sí, tiene que ser, pero, obviamente, no, no sé mucho de lo de Human Resources Department, pero ustedes me dirán si es como que todas las empresas deben tener un programa de beneficios que promuevan, que motiven, que incentiven o que den premios, dependiendo de del performance, dependiendo de su desempeño en la empresa. Al menos a mí no me ha pasado. Eso es okay. como, como de ventas, ¿Ah? Eso es como más de ventas, de sales. Podría ser, podría ser, ajá, que, que esté en este tipo de, de rubros, ok, donde, ajá, quizás tiene mucho que ver si, si le dan un bono, si le dan un, ajá, un incentivo, dependiendo de cómo vayan sus, sus métricas o su performance. Puede ser es más, que ¿eh? es más salario emocional que. <risa> o sea, por lo menos yo les digo. Que real. En, en teaching no me ha pasado. <risa> o sea, pero sí creo que lo he escuchado de los call centers. Que los call centers le dicen: Ah, vaya, como tuviste un buen desempeño ese mes, vamos a dar un bonus para que te compres algo así o para que te vayas al cine, bla, bla, bla. ¿Ya? Pero esos no, son los incentivos. No lo dieron el año pasado. Por desempeño. Sí. Oh, nice. Da qué sí. bueno saber que, ajá, que sí existe. Por eso les decía, creo que depende mucho del rubro. O sea, no, no es en todas las áreas. Creo que lo único que yo he recibido es por, por años de trabajo. Pero igual ni siquiera fue como, o sea, un incentivo monetario, nada de eso, sino que fue como, aquí tiene, aquí digo. Congratulations. <ríe> Sí, y era algo que, pues, significativo, ¿verdad? O sea, nada más. So, de eso se encarga el de Benefits Specials, o sea, el especialista en los beneficios de los empleados. Pero eso también se, se reciben otras cosas también, como amenazas. Algo así. Quizá en mi empresa no hay esa posición, creo yo. Por eso les decía, yo creo que esto va a depender mucho de las companies. Pero se supone que estas son las diferentes positions, porque uno dice Human Resources, pero ¿qué hace dentro de Human Resources? ¿Está a cargo de qué? Entonces son como las diferentes asignaciones. Por eso decía, yo va a depender mucho. Y luego tenemos al Tanish Management Consultant, que esto sí creo que lo he escuchado, eh, como el, el consultor de talento humano. Yes. que están como bien claros que cuáles son los perfiles y todo qué es lo que se requiere para, para pertenecer a la empresa, bla, bla, bla. So, el bachelor degree, obviamente, es de, es de rigor para todos, si se fijan, no van a tener, o sea, nadie en esta posición que no tenga un bachelor degree, que no tenga una licenciatura o un grado universitario. 
responsible for leadership development, career development, esa que está como velando para que haya desarrollo, para que haya liderazgo, para que se tomen iniciativas y todo eso, ¿verdad? Para que también este, quizás personas que no tienen o que, que les falta un poquito para, para llegar a obtener un bachelor degree, también lo terminen o se o sigan estudiando, ¿ok? Bueno, eso sí creo que lo he visto en algunas companies que les dan la oportunidad a personas que, que se sigan preparando, que, que terminen su, su carrera, que se gradúen, que saquen su diploma, right? Access performance, learning and development, o sea, que también promueven este desarrollo, capacitaciones, cursos, workshops, para que las, los employees pues también tengan su propio desarrollo. Y luego el human resources generalist, de lo que decía, el bachelor degree is, is a requirement, maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations, es como más estar a, como prestos o estar informado de las regulaciones de los gobiernos, de lo que se debe dar a los employees y no en, quizás incurrir en alguna falta, ¿verdad? Para que no les pongan ninguna sanción, más que todo con la parte legal, creo. En response to inquiry regarding policies, pues, ajá, más que todo eso, como estar dispuestos a, a informar o a, o a responder cualquiera de las preguntas o cualquiera de las requisiciones de políticas o procedimientos o programas que, que seguramente a veces les, les exigen las leyes. Eso también va a depender de los países, porque no todos los países tenemos las mismas regulaciones y las mismas leyes, ¿verdad? So, I don't know what else, ¿ok? <ríe> Bye. Aquí les va a quedar como esta media tarea. So, traten como de deducir, ¿verdad? What does the recruitment coordinator do? What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? And what does the recruitment coordinator work? Es practically solo del primero. De los otros es como más general knowledge, como una general idea de qué son las otras personas que están en ese department. Responsibilities. ¿Cuáles son las responsabilidades de esas otras personas que también colaboran en ese department? No todas están a cargo de recruiting, ¿verdad? Algunas están a cargo del desarrollo, o sea, de, la, de las capacitaciones, otras están a cargo de las generalidades como los beneficios y, perdón, como lo de la, los requerimientos de leyes y otros como de los beneficios en sí de los empleados. All right, I'm sorry for the explanation in Spanish, but I think it's a lot of vocabulary that probably we don't know much, as I said before. The, I mean, human resources probably needs more communication so that people know about their functions and their tasks, right? But sometimes we don't know much about it. And that's a pity, okay? So it's about time. I don't want to stop you any longer. Let me have the attendance the third time. And here we go. Where on the start of the Oh my goodness. By some mistakes, I think I closed it. Hold on. Just a second. Mm -hmm. I know Adriana is the first one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Adriana. Yes, you are still present. Thank you. Yes. Okay, let me see, let me see. Oh my goodness. Adriana, Carlos. Present. Cristina. Daniel. Present. Elsie. Well, Elsie no se conectó ahora, ¿verdad? Fermán. Present teacher. Hazel. She's just listening. Hector, Liliana. Present. Irma. Present. Okay, Isabel. Present. Lucy. Present. Marta, not here. Mayra. Present. Samuel. Present. And Jacqueline. Okay. Present. Buenas <laughs> noches. Hi, <laughs> Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Okay, so tonight we have Isabel participating in the 10 minutes, one-on-one. -on -one. Ready? Okay. Se fue. 
<risa> OMG. <risa> Bye, Dios. No me voy a decir nada. Ok, anyways. Jacqueline, then. Not available either. Ok, no problem. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. night, night.